Hey there, how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna do something a little different today. Uh, I'm gonna do a food review. Uh, I've never done one of these before, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but today, in this old bag of goodies here from BK, you know, the Burger King, is the uh, the new Impossible Whopper, a regular Whopper, and one of their tacos, because I've never tried their tacos, and I know they've been around for a little bit, so that's where the whole kind of late part comes into this. Uh, I didn't write a script for this, like I usually do for my other reviews, um, so it's all going to be off the top of my head, and yeah, let's get to it. So, I think I should start with the taco. There we go. It's a little... Uh, Happy face bowl looking taco there. Uh, yeah, taco. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna put this below me so I have room. And this is what the taco looks like. Uh, I guess you can kind of. There's out of the camera. Kind of see what it looks like. It's got meat, lettuce, and sauce. I believe is it. Maybe cheese? Doesn't, oh, yeah, there is some shredded cheese in there. Okay. You can kind of show you there. Looks gross as all heck. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to get the crunch sound in there. You know, really get your mouth watering. And, uh, here we go. Nice bite. It's got a real nice crunch to it. Oop, some of the lettuce fell out in my lap. Gonna eat it off my lap there. Oh, another thing I got to mention. I got a caramel frap from BK. All right. So, first impressions. I didn't get much meat in that first bite. But there's a real nice crunch to this. And the shell is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not hard to make a tortilla shell. It kind of looks like it's corn, but it probably is a flour. And, yeah. I'm going to take one more bite just because the meat was all in the middle and there's not a lot of meat. So let me try to actually get meat. Taco sauce is pretty good, too. The meat doesn't have much flavor. And when you first look at it, it just kind of looks like they cut a burger in half. And then just stuffed it in there. But it's more like it's actually a ground-up burger paste. So it's probably the patties that they screw up on instead of throwing them out. Just grinding them up and throwing them in these tacos. Which is fine, because it still tastes good. It's overall, it's actually enjoyable. Um, now, would I have this over Taco Bell? Probably not, but... It makes for a good side, instead of getting, like, fries or something. If you want to try something a little wackier, like a taco, there you go, you got a taco. So, that's pretty good. Actually, I just got a big bite of the meat from that last bite that I just kind of took at the last second there. That meat tastes very different. It's cooked in, like, a different type of seasoning. I need to wash that out one sec. Not the best palate cleanser that I got, but I love caramel, so that caramel wrap is delicious. All right. So, so I can compare it, I might as well start to eat the regular Whopper here. Just a regular Whopper. I didn't get it with cheese or anything like that. I mean, I like cheese on my, my Whoppers usually, but I figured for for this, I would uh, just go without the cheese and do a pure comparison of a Whopper to Whopper. So, let's get this guy open. Oh, maybe it is with cheese. 
thought I said no. I didn't know. Order... No, it doesn't have cheese. Okay. The package said with cheese, so I was a little confused there. <laughs> All right, let me get this big ass mofo out of here. So, here's your Whopper. Typical Whopper. I read all the regular toppings. I'm not a, a pansy on different toppings and whatnot that's on my burgers. I like them as they come when you get them, usually. The other thing I might do is add some cheese if it doesn't come with cheese. That's about it. But, uh, let's take a bite. This spot here looks good. It's got a little bit of everything. You may not have been able to see the pickle in there because it's kind of hidden, but it is there, so... My Whopper's pissing out the backside, as uh, Gordon Ramsay would say. Okay. That's the typical Whopper taste there. You know, what'd you expect? The meat tastes kind of grilled dish, but not quite really. Um, um, you got your lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion. Uh, it's onion rings. Tastes fine. You know, they all have a nice taste to them. Taste fresh. That's always a positive when they taste fresh instead of a not tasting fresh, obviously. Okay. So, I'm going to come back to eat this the rest of the way. None of this is getting thrown out. I will shove it all into my gullet eventually, off camera afterwards. I may see if other people around the house want to try the Impossible Whopper, maybe a bite, see if they like it. So, here we go. I like the packaging. Impossible Whopper? Looks nice. Frame, flame grilled, frame, frame grilled, flame grilled to perfection. So, that's good. Um, I've had Impossible Meat before. Um, I'm not like a vegetarian or a vegan or anything like that, but I'm totally fine with eating vegetables and stuff like that. It's not like I'm just, oh, meat only, everything else gross uh, type of person. I, I like my vegetables just as much as I like my meat. Um, so I've had this before, not from Burger King. Um, I've had it from TJ Fridays. Uh, my girlfriend ordered one. And uh, I tried a bite. It was really good. It tasted just like a burger. Um, the only difference was the texture was a little weird. It was kind of spongy. Uh, so it's a little off-putting if you don't like that feeling in your mouth. But other than that, it tasted just like a burger and it was delicious. This also says it's an Impossible Whopper with cheese. But I don't think it has cheese on it. Because I didn't order with cheese. All right, so I'm going to actually look at this one for first impressions after I show you guys. So, there's the Impossible Whopper. I promise you it is the Impossible Whopper. No bite out of this one. It is just the Whopper impossibly made. It does look and smell a little different. Uh, I'll give you that. The Everything looks fresh. Again, fresh lettuce, fresh tomato, fresh pickles. Around lunchtime. It wasn't too busy. Uh, the person was super nice, by the way, whoever you are. Um, thank you. For being absolutely delightful. Usually, when I go through drive through, the people are just don't give a crap and whatever, uh, aren't helpful. I ordered through the app. The app sucks, by the way. I really don't like their app. Burger King, you need to work on your app. You tell me, hit the button when I get there, and if my phone locks before I get there, uh, it deletes the order and I have to redo it. So I sat in the parking lot and redid it real quick and then went through the drive through instead of just walking inside and ordering it like a normal human being. So why do that? But. All right, so let me see. Where's a good spot? This looks like a good spot here. Got everything. You can even see the pickle in this image. So we got that. Um, actually, let's do a little thumbnail. Hold on. Okay, thumbnail out of the way. Let's uh, let's get it in there and see how it tastes. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Mm.
Hmm. Left my napkins on the bed by. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> now, before I talk, I'm just take one more sip. So, the Impossible Whopper. Got some crud on my finger there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Impossible Whopper. It doesn't taste quite like meat. It's not bad. It's actually really good. I actually enjoy it a lot. And I definitely get it again from what I'm tasting so far out of it. I think it tastes nice and fresh, um, which is weird. Usually Burger King doesn't taste fresh for me, especially because Burger King down the street from me just usually sucks. Um, so I'm glad that it tastes good. Maybe they're actually changed up their management recently because I haven't been in a while. And maybe they actually getting their stuff together now. But that's what that matters. And that's not what that's not what that matters in this video. What matters in this video is what we're talking about for the burger. So, the Impossible Whopper, which I should probably show you what it looks like on the inside after I've taken a bite. It's gonna look a little gross because I took bites out of it, but there it is. It looks just like a burger. You know, it looks just like a burger. It doesn't quite taste like a normal burger though. Um, it's got more of a veggie taste to it, a little bit vegetable, but it's not bad. It is quite good, and like I said, I would order it again. Um, if I go to Burger King again. I don't go to Burger King often, so by the time I go back to Burger King, it probably won't even be there anymore. But I was craving a, a burger. I knew the Impossible Whopper had just come out recently, so we're going to try it. So, yeah, it's just, it's good. Um, I would definitely suggest getting it, especially if you are, you know, uh, like a vegetarian or maybe a vegan, you really wanted to get something quick and easy to get um, instead of having to do whatever you usually do. Um, they probably do cook it with regular Whoppers on the burners. You'd probably have to ask for them to specifically do it on a different burner. That's my guess. Uh, I'm assuming just because to save time and space, it might as well just do it that way. But again, it's good. It tastes it tastes basically like a Whopper. There's there's just that slight taste where it doesn't taste like it. The texture for this one, probably because it was a lot thinner than the Impossible Burger that I had at TGI Fridays, um, because it's a lot thinner. There's a lot less texture to it, so it felt just like a regular burger in your mouth. Um, it was maybe slightly spongier, but I couldn't really tell. But yeah, it was good. I definitely suggest trying it. Uh, it should be available at all Burger Kings now. Um, your mileage may vary in terms of whether or not it's available, or the people are nice about it, or even if they want to help you get the burger made, or whatever. Um, but, you know, give it a shot if you want. Otherwise, you know, whatever. Again, uh, and the taco, the taco is good. I just suggest that. Obviously the regular Whopper. This would probably be better with cheese, honestly. <laughs> so if you're more of a vegetarian, you get it with cheese. If you're more of a vegan, obviously, I don't think they ha I don't think they have vegan substitute cheeses. Um, because it's not a very vegan friendly place, but neither is any of the other places really. Um, but yeah. Uh so I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a lot of food reviews. Uh this one just kind of spur of the moment. Bought it and was like, hey, maybe I'll make it in a review. Uh so let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this review. Let me know what you may want to see me change or improve upon. Um, I didn't have a camera set up properly well. Obviously, as you can tell, my bed is behind me. There's lotion on the table over there. Um, <laughs> makes it look like I'm, <laughs> that's really bad. Um, the room is just a mess. Um, typically, I would do this on a table somewhere or something like that. But uh, let me know. I mean... Yeah, just let me know. Let me know if you want me to keep doing food reviews every now and then. I probably won't do them all the time. Maybe just when something special comes up at one of the fast food restaurants or if there's like a special snack that comes out at a store or something like that. Just let me know. Let me know if there's anything you want me to improve upon, like something I didn't go over or I didn't go into much detail about maybe. Um, I tried to get, you know, smell and taste, you know, all the typical stuff. What it looked like. It looks like a normal burger. Everything looks fresh on it. So that's always good. Um, I didn't get any real sides with this stuff, 
aside from the taco which i tried to show you guys that i tried to show you the burger but it's tough because the burger likes to fall apart so it's tough to show it especially after you biting into it it really likes to fall out the back but yeah um if you like this video i hope I, I hope you like this video anyway um get subscribed if you're not hit that notification bell if you haven't so that way you know when the next review or let's play or whatever i'm doing comes out next and yeah have a good day Peace.